Okay, Ryan, I just wanted to say we are going to show you how to present in Purple Mash as you would present in PowerPoint. So everyone needs to pay attention to the board because that's where I'm going to show you what I'm going to show you. And if you don't pay attention to the board, you probably won't even know how to do it. Even though it's not very difficult. Before I do proceed, I wanted to say, well done on your assembly. Some of you spoke marvelously. And how proud everyone was to see you guys doing such a marvelous job. So, well done. If your teacher asks you to do a presentation, a presentation like in PowerPoint, you can do it in PowerPoint, but it's far better to do it in Purple Match. What your teacher can do is lay out a to-do where they indicate what the Purple Mash work is, and then you just she, your teacher can then mark it very easily. Look at how I'm going to present and make a PowerPoint display. I'm going to go to the tools. Remember, we need tools to do different jobs. And we're going to be pub publishing a presentation document so that something like PowerPoint, or you could have Google Slides, or anything like that. And you'll find that the ABC, this to publish, is where we're, where we're going to find the slideshow. Now your teacher will find a whole lot of different templates. There's a lot of them. Like this one is a blank comic book. You've got a slideshow, which is the one I'm going to show you. You can even make your own newspaper. You could get together with a group of friends and make a newspaper. You could, look here, he has a diary. All you've got to do is click on it and open it, and you could start your own diary, writing your, in, your diary entries in Purple Mash. How cool is that? And some people don't even know this. So let's have a good look at the slide presentation. Um, if Marco was in this class, I would show him this, because blank sketchbook. That's where you can do drawings and paintings. You can put all your pictures in there. Okay, so look here. Blank slideshow. Create your own slideshow. So I'm going to open it. Launch app. Your teacher could set it to do. And now you want a heading. So let's go look at a heading. I'm just going to call it Map of the World of the My Fantasy World. Let's say, for example, you asked to make a, a place where all these monsters live and interesting things. So I'm going to make it Map of My Fantasy. Just put in World. And look, it's a bit small. So what I'm going to do is make it bigger. Select. Everything's blue now. I've selected the text. And there, look. Show text toolbar. And size is font size. And I'd like it to be in the middle. So I'm clicking on the create a center alignment. And now font size, nice and big. I'm sure Ryan would be happy with that one. Map of my fantasy world. Just going to move it over there. And now I want to put some pictures in. If I want to get some pictures, there's some pre-made pictures in Purple Mash. Now when you click on this, nothing will happen. Drag and release. And you'll see you've got all the Purple Mash pictures that you can include. And Megan taught me how to also get other pictures. You've got these ones here. Flags of the Earth. South African flag is, most is I think, the most beautiful flag. There it is. You can see it stands out for its beauty. Beautiful flag. Okay. And then you can add these to your project. Now, if you choose, say, for example, you want to put a picture on your computer of something that is another picture, you can go here. Click on there. Choose file. Click on it. And it says from my PC. On your tablet, it won't say from my PC. It will say something different. Click on it. And here I'm going to get our beautiful school badge. Just going to look for it. I think I have a copy of the school badge. There it is. Art. And it's got some purple mash art here as well. 
I'll just click on the school badge. It's loading. Click OK. And I'm going to make it nice and big, like that. And you can center it. You can even move it wherever you want. The question is, how do I make a second slide? Easy. Add page. Click on Add Page. Now you can draw your map or you can find a map. Let me show you how you get a map. Go over here, and I'm going to just get a map from Google. So I'm going to do a search. Google. And uh, let's go Great Britain. Probably should have said South Africa because let's go with South Africa because of the nine provinces and everything you guys have to learn. And I'm going to go to images. Looking for, oh, I forgot to say map. So there's lots of pictures of South African things. Some of them are a little bit inappropriate with the politics that's happening in our country. Boys and girls, when you get older, you will fix the problems of our country. We have great faith in you. And I hope that you will work hard at school so we make our country the best. So you go over here. I'm just going to save this picture. It's a map. Save image as. And I'm just going to save it in my picture folder. It's called images. I didn't give it any specific name. So go back to Purple Mash. Over there. I'm going to, you guys remember, I'm going to drag this in. I'm almost finished and then you guys can even do your own. Please do show your teachers how to do this. Because then you don't have to do it in PowerPoint and all printed out on paper. Your teacher will even find it much better. That it's easier to mark in Purple Mash. <coughs> From my PC, I'm going to look at the picture folder. Picture folder, looking down for that. There's that cow I drew. I did this picture of a cow. I wanted to make. There's the map. Open. It's coming. Loads a little while there. Click OK. And you've got a map. It wasn't a very good one. The way I saved it was uh, you can get a better picture. This is not high resolution. So you can find a better picture of this. The reason why it's a bit blurry is that I just saved it as an as a icon and not necessarily as the actual original picture. So now if I want to do a speech, Tristan, this is something you really would like, Tristan. You go here, you drag this, and you put it over there or anywhere you want. And you guys being brilliant speakers will love this. And your teacher can even mark your speeches. She doesn't even have to call you like, oh, come and give a speech. You can go like this. You put your, you, on your tablet, you click on this little green and white cross. Click on it, and it says, you can put in pre-made sounds, and it even gives you record. Record. Hello, I want to talk about the greatness of South Africa. And we got this amazing country that's got nine provinces. One of the most favorite favorite provinces is KwaZulu Natal, where I can go swimming, and that's your speech. So then you encode it. Then what happens is you just save it, and when your teacher marks it, remember to save it, save and exit. If your teacher gave it to you as a to do, she could then mark your speech and listen to your speech, which mine was so rubbish. And then you could say my project, and if your teacher made a folder in the grade, your grade folder, in your class folder, your teacher could just open it up and everyone would be able to see it. So you save it, and there you got a project that can be marked in Purple Mash. Now guys, please go and encourage your teachers to use Purple Mash. Otherwise, you're going to have to like print out little pieces of paper, and you're going to not realize that you've got such a good tool in front of you that's got diaries, that's got all those other things in Purple Mash that some people don't even know. How long did it take us before we even realized we got email? Thank you so much for listening to my presentation. I hope you will go and bring that forward to all the other teachers and they'll get so excited and you'll be the class that got them all using slideshows in Purple Mash and you will have made your teachers smarter like they want to make you smarter. Like you guys made me smarter because Megan showed me how to do the slideshows. So I'm even more smarter. Everyone gets smarter when we help each other. Each one, teach one. A big thank you to all of you for watching this video. 
and we wish you well. Please do subscribe and support this initiative. It's most welcome. Hopefully it will inspire some teachers to start using this.